Hi, I'm Ellen Stofan, the Chief Scientist of NASA. Welcome to the International Space Apps Challenge in Cairo. I hope you're prepared to innovate, collaborate, and stretch your imagination. I'm thrilled to be with you here today, and I would like to thank those who helped organize this phenomenal event. I am pleased to hear that challenges like this are taking place in 193 locations spanning 72 countries from around the world. Wow. This is exciting news for NASA and our partners as we strive to explore our solar system and beyond, combat global challenges, and improve life on Earth. Over the years, many innovative apps have come about as a result of the Space Apps Challenge, from crop protection to data management to improving water quality. Although there's a competition involved, this challenge provides us with a fresh perspective and a new outlook on technology development that can be used for real-life situations. This fresh perspective I speak of comes from a diverse group of individuals from across the world, including students, scientists, engineers, and others with various backgrounds. This is an important concept at NASA because we're always looking for new ideas and solutions to solve the biggest challenges facing our society today. Every day, we look to cultivate new ideas from our own centers, from academia, and from our private industry partners. In addition, we build on existing international partnerships while embracing new ones. Why? because numerous studies have proven that diverse teams yield better results. One prime example is the International Space Station. Men and women with various backgrounds have worked on and off the ISS to make it as successful as it is today. To solve humanity's biggest problems, we need our best and our brightest, all hands on deck, and that's where you come in. Everyone is welcome at this table. We need all of you here today and every day. Let me give you some examples of what NASA is doing, both at home and beyond Earth, to address issues that face us right now. As you know, NASA is not only tasked with space discovery and exploration. We're working with scientists worldwide to better understand the dramatic and concerning changes happening to our home planet due to climate change. Yesterday was Earth Day, but at NASA, Earth Day is every day. We take stewardship of our home planet seriously, and NASA is helping to inform some of the toughest questions facing us today. How Earth is changing, and how our planet could change in the future, and how humanity can cope and overcome these changes. From rising sea levels and record temperatures to the availability of fresh water, NASA is helping to unravel the complexities of our planet from its core to the highest reaches of its atmosphere. What we learn about other planets in our solar system, such as Venus and Mars, provides vital clues about processes at work on Earth as well. We are using NASA data to help make countries around the world more resilient to the effects of climate change, including severe weather events and drought already happening today. NASA also has our sights on a journey to Mars, fulfilling the President's goal of sending humans to the red planet and safely returning them in the 2030s. This isn't just the subject of science fiction, it's real, and NASA is on it. It could happen in your lifetime. When I speak with school children, I'd like to say one of you could be among the first humans to set foot on Mars. That's when I lose control of the room. There's so much wonder and enthusiasm for this journey. Your excitement is infectious, and it motivates me to come to work every day to do everything I can to make this goal become reality. Just last fall, we announced evidence of liquid water on the surface of present-day Mars. We've also made great strides in understanding how Mars lost its atmosphere so long ago as it was stripped by the solar wind. Think about it. In our lifetimes, NASA and its partners hope to answer some of the most fundamental questions about life beyond Earth. Does Mars harbor microbial life today? Was there life on the red planet billions of years ago? What can Mars teach us about Earth's past, present, and future? Could Mars be a safe home for humans one day? You've probably seen the selfies from Mars Curiosity rover and the amazing images of craters, mountains, and now sand dunes. While our orbiters and rovers are laying the foundation at Mars, I believe it will take humans on the surface of the red planet to crack open rocks and find evidence of life past or present. 
Fossil microbes are not going to be easy to find, so we need boots on the ground. Learning about Mars can teach us about life elsewhere in the cosmos and more about how life began on Earth and the very nature of life itself. Together, humans and robotics are pioneering Mars and the solar system. So NASA is thinking big, and today I'm calling on you to think big. My sincere hope is that you will take advantage of this opportunity by indulging in great dialogue and learning something new. Stretch yourself. I recommend using this time to also develop lasting friendships. Some of my current colleagues are people I've known for a long time, and we met at forums much like this, sharing a common bond of science, technology, and research. We need activities and events like the Space Apps Challenge to put us on a path to solutions to the most significant issues facing us today. Even after this event is a distant memory, I want you to always be mindful and always thinking about different ways to make life better here on Earth. Yes, this is a competition, but remember, this weekend is also about collaboration, teamwork, innovation, and relationships. Good luck, I'll be cheering for you. You are all winners in my eyes.